Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. So, we uh, can just go fight Lavos and end the game, or we could go actually, like, become more powerful and have a chance of doing so. Um, let's see, how am I doing on uh, stats? You know what? I could actually use a uh, little bit more. Let's go, uh, let's go heal up a bit. There we go. So, we could go fight Lavos, but that's a bad idea. Instead, let's go do semi-optional side quests. And I say semi-optional because it's kind of like Final Fantasy VI in that they make a lot of sense to do. They're kind of necessary to build up your power to take on the boss. I'm seeing some definite parallels with the uh, end of uh, Final Fantasy VI here. Let's go ahead and uh, take off. And let's go back to 600 AD. So, I made a slight error earlier in the game. It's not actually critical, but I missed a little bit of dialogue. There were two women in the Zeal Palace that I never actually talked to. I went back and checked the videos, and I went everywhere but talked to them. I just assumed that I had, I think. Um, and uh, one of them does have a little thing where well, she'll have a sapling. I'll try to get those when I do the um, uh, the post-game stuff when I get the endings, because I have to. you have to go through uh, the game fairly fully multiple times after that in order to uh, get all of the endings. Um, but that will come uh, a lot later. But I'll try to show off the, uh, the extra dialogue. There's a lot of different, like, there's a lot of different optional stuff that you can get in this game that uh, is easy to miss if you do or don't do certain things. So, now if we remember correctly, there was some uh, there were trees here before. Of course, we got this uh, village here still. I forget what village it is. Might be Dorino. I don't know. Uh, and there's a uh, odd thing called the Sunken Desert. Let's head into Fiona's villa. So, she would have something here to mention if I had gotten that dialogue before, uh, I think. Actually, it is here. My husband Marco is finally home from the war. Oh, I'm so relieved. Worry not, my love. We won't be parted again. Anything I plant dies before it even has a chance to grow. It's the work of monsters lurking out in that desert somewhere. This young tree is one that has been cultivated throughout the ages, mysteriously resilient, that could surely restore this desert to a verdant land. But I daren't plant so small a sapling out there now, not with all the monsters nesting in that cave. Oh, I guess she is talking about it. Now we did... S so the person that you talk to, uh, you, she'll say that she got a sapling from the Guru of Life and uh, asks if she should, you know, she says that the uh, the queen told her to burn it. And we could tell her, grow it in secret. Um, maybe I did talk to that person at some point? I don't know. It, um, my fact says that's a trigger, but I'm pretty sure I didn't talk to that person. Because I don't remember actually getting that dialogue. The monsters in the desert cave fear water. They seem vulnerable to it. But the greatest of them, water or no, I could not hope to slay that beast on my own. Well, let's go uh, see what we can do about that. So, let's head in to the sunken desert. Oh goody, moving uh, ground. Whee! Ow! I love Ayla's uh, surprised animation. Obtained Lapis! Go ahead and uh, reveal up all of that there. There are going to be a lot of enemies here. Uh, let's go ahead and just charm from like everything. Shh. 
shield sphere. Anytime now, Marley. There we go. That did that do what I think it did? That did what I think it did. Oh crap. Alright, let's try Luminaire. Really want to use ice on them. Or water. That worked out pretty well. This guy would be a lot easier if I had uh, hit him with water, but that's good enough. Obtained a lapis. Learned final kick triple tech. Like I said, there's a lot of enemies here. Guess I'll just keep charming. Come on, Marley. Hurry up. Barrier Sears. They might be useful. Ice 2. Also, I suppose I should heal up all. I mean, uh, Chrono. Ow! 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 Yeah, I do usually call him Ald when I uh, play this game. Uh, it's just... I decided to go with the uh, usual names for uh, this playthrough. In part because I don't usually do that on my, uh, my Let's Plays. Uh, let's actually have you do... Kisses. Since I don't actually need to uh, keep your... Oh, you're full. Your MP as high. Hey, I'm trying to get this item here, sir. I like how they were just walking in place. Go ahead and charm again. Marley's turn to come. Ice two. We're gonna have to use some ethers uh, pretty soon. Water hardened sand. Defense reduced. So then just a couple attacks takes care of him. Could probably do a uh, like a luminaire or even a lightning. Chronos and Marley's levels increased. Very nice. Yonian suit. I don't think I need one of those. Got a shield sphere. I think this will take them all out. Save some of Marley's uh, MP. Oh, hey! Yeah. Number of the Beast times three. Did I mention that there's a lot of enemies here? I bet if I Luminaire and then uh, Ice 2, they'll all die. Ow! Stop it. Rude. Cut it out. They do a lot of damage as well. They seem especially intent on attacking Chrono. got an elixir. Hi. Not sure if this is the last group or not. Probably not. Hey, 
a barrier sphere. Lapis. Lots, a lot of lapises is uh, actually pretty good. High ether. There we go. One more group of enemies, I think. Sand cyclone. Ice two. We got a shield here. That should be uh, everything here. Let's go ahead and uh, heal up a little bit. Keep trying to go up and down because I'm looking at the top, not the bottom. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, treasure. I want treasure. Ground shake. That seems bad. Oh, oh hi. I'm not sure if that's a if those are bones or ant lions. So that's the monster that killed all the trees. Bone, move under sand, hard sea. Okay, guess they're bones. Obtained high potion. Obtained 5,000 G. Obtained a turbo ether. Eonian Helm. Didn't actually want to fight you yet, but oh well. Alright, so it's like Zombor, but it has a, a third part. An eye in its stomach. We want to be very, very careful about that. Alright, so, um... It's not really resistant to anything... So, I think what I want to do is... I'm going to go ahead and frenzy on the legs. I'm going to try to charm the core. And we're going to ice the top. Cannot damage sand like body, alright? Uh, a speed capsule. Excellent. That's the only thing you can steal here. So we don't want to hit it all, because uh, when the core goes away, it will get very awful. Alright, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's try a Thunder Chomp. Not sure how well this will work. Not very well. Absorbing energy from core. Hmm. Now you're blinded. Okay, first round has not been very successful. Strike foe with an elemental kick. Alright, that's not going to work well. Strike enemy with a penetrating kick. Let's do that. Nine hundred seventeen. It's got about five thousand hit points. Oh, 
water hard and sand. Okay, I am going to uh, frenzy it and triple kick. Should still work. Yep. All right. Absorbing energy from core. Eventually, the core is going to be uh, destroyed. Let me hit the legs so that it's ready. Oh, there we go. Water hard and sand, defense reduced, absorbing energy from core. I didn't kill it, that's good. So it will go berserk when we uh, destroy the core. But it's also going to destroy the core, so let's just take it. Oh. Okay. You know what? I've got a lot of lapises. Let's use it. Stay up on hit points. Falcon strike. I guess it's just the top and the bottom that you can falcon strike together. Maybe I should have targeted the uh, legs first. I believe the Sand Cyclone does steadily uh, lower hit points. I don't really want to do that, so... I might actually get more damage in attacking individually. No, not Luminaire. Yeah, I think I'm getting more damage that way. Well. So it goes into pissy boss mode if you take out the core, and that's bad. Running wild without core. 2600 XP. 2000G. Ayla's level increased. Bad Bone Smash. Fiona happy. Indeed. There's still some items to get. Muscle Ring. I think that's uh, strength plus six. A memory cap. And a high ether. Alright, let's get out of here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hello. And a strength capsule. I will be using these eventually. I did get a question about that. I mean, they're not necessary right now, uh, and it's more that I want to know... I want to kind of have a feel for where I'm going to be... at with my equipment and stuff like that. Um... See, I do have seven speed capsules, which is really good. Those are by far the best, because uh, getting more turns is really good. And I should really give a few to uh, Marley and Robo. I should give a few to Marley right now, actually. So I am finding her speed a little bit too bad. Yeah, we'll get her up to 11 for the moment. Uh, magic capsules. Yeah, I'll need to think about it. All right, back into Fiona's villa. Thank you for dealing with those foul creatures. Now I can set to work replanting again. Alas, I fear it will take ages to plant enough trees to reforest this land. Uh, if only there were someone who could toil for centuries on end, then these wastes could truly be made green again.
You vanquished up all the monsters. However, can we thank you? Uh, you can thank me monetarily. All right, someone who can toil for centuries on end. I mean, maybe Magus, but Robo is definitely uh, the uh, key here. What do you think? I could remain here and assist Madame Fiona, and you could come to retrieve me here once my work was complete. Is that all right? May I stay behind and help? Uh, okay. All right, so we lose uh, Robo. He will be uh, doing this. He has some amusing animations. And I think he'll always be here now, um, even after we retrieve him. You can't interact with him. <laughs> I like his little, uh, his little hat. He's uh, tossing some seeds about. Now he's acting as a scarecrow. And he's back to that. I think it just cycles through those every time you come here. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go to the uh, end of time first. Mainly because I want to heal up quickly and easily. Oops. Get off. Whee! Who put the ejector seats in here? Yeah, that does restore everyone's good. Yum. All right, uh, let's go ahead and take off. And back to uh, the present. Well, isn't this a nice, a nice and beautiful verdant land? Now, I will again point out that this village is gone, still. Fiona's Shrine. Hey, we get the uh, cathedral music again. The remains of the Venerable Robo are enshrined in the inner sanctum. The Venerable Robo? Uh-oh. This is Fiona's Shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and Robo for reviving the forest scorched in the war against Magus 400 years ago. My hats are woven from twigs rich with the magical mystical energies of the forest. Ooh, I like hats. I want a hat. Uh, clarity cap prevents confusion for 20,000. Memory cap prevents lock for 20,000. Time hat prevents stop and slow for 30,000. And vigilance hat prevents all status ailments for 50,000. It is a, uh, a bit of a boost. We'll buy one for now. We will want more. She doesn't have anything else. That is a good hat. And who is a good robo? Hey, you don't mind if we uh, pull, pull this uh, idol down here, right? No? You, you're fine with that, right? You would think that the people here would be like, No, don't! What are you doing? Systems activated. Where am I? Oh. Chrono, how nice to finally see you again. Only a few moments may have passed for you, but I have been waiting for 400 years. As an aside, can I just think about how horrific that idea is? Like, he is literally 400 years older than all the rest of us. With all of the memories and experiences that that entails... He hasn't seen us in that time. But for us, it's just a, a 
matter of moments. Like, it, it's entirely possible that his personality could have changed in that time. I mean, obviously he's a robot and there's some uh, different elements there, but the point being that, like, for a normal person, uh, all of those uh, 400 years of experiences could have dramatically reshaped your uh, personality and character. And, you know, we could find, you know, meet up with that person and be like, wow, you're so different. And, and being a robot, he, his memories of us is, are unlikely to have been affected by the time change, but for a normal person, they would have. Would someone even recognize you, you know, your friends after 400 years? Hard to test that theory. However, my efforts were worthwhile. The forest is restored. Now, shall we celebrate our 400-year reunion? You mean your, your, your our, our four-minute reunion, right? No, 400 years. No, four-minute. And then, you know, our, our friendship is ruined. This disagreement is too much for us to overcome. I love this little scene. This little, uh, little forest with everyone sitting around the fire. I realized something during these past 400 years. I believe we may have been incorrect in our assumption that Lavos was responsible for the creation of the gates. What do you mean? It is not a certainty, but I have come to believe it possible that some entity wished for us to witness these events. I should also point out that it's unlikely that Robo's, uh, parts would have survived 400 years. What about his power source, too? Perhaps it wanted us to see all of these various ages. Alternately, it may have wished to see them for itself. It seems almost as if it was reflecting on the days of its past. Ayla, no. Person see. A uh, person die. Life See life pass by. Elders say. Before death claims a man, he is made to bear witness a second time to those memories engraved most deeply upon his heart. There may be fond, fond memories among them, yes, but often as not, the ones which grieve us are the most profound. Knowing the end is approaching likely reactivates dormant feelings of regret and desire to return to moments of in the past. Do you suppose that will happen when our time comes? Probably, who knows? Is there a point in time you'd want to return to, Luca? I... N no, n not not really. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay. It's just something I don't like to think about too much. But even if Lavos did not open the gates, his fate is clearly bound to that of the one who did. Lavos has played a role in every age we've seen. Who do you think it is? It is unknown to me whose memories these are. It is likely an entity greater than any of us. Perhaps it is the player. Perhaps we will not know until our journey has come to an end. Shall we turn in for the night? And Luke is like, I'm, I'm not done fixing you yet. Luca seems to be the one sleeping most uncomfortably. Okay, no, Magus. A little bit more so. The fact that Frog's tongue is hanging out might also be, uh... Alright, never mind. <laughs> Any guys awake? There's an odd sound coming from nearby. Nope. Alright, what's going on? Huh. A time gate. That is not triggered by, uh, anything of... Note? Also, I'm just gonna save state real fast in case I screw this next part up. A red time gate? They've always been blue before! Oh, wait, no, those are moon gates. Never mind. What's this? June 24th, 990. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but he blew me off again because of his research. I don't get it, but whatever. Who cares about that stupid science anyway? Girls don't need to know about that stuff. 
be a bad idea to go out on the uh, balcony right now. The password to shut down the device is the name of my one true love. Use it in an emergency, Tobin. That's good to know. If we remember correctly, Luca's mother was always sitting there. What is this thing anyway? Tobin said it was said to keep away from it. But it's so dusty, surely it wouldn't hurt to just tidy up a little bit. Dear me, my skirt, it's I'm stuck! Luca, Luca, help! I can't pull it out! Oh no, Luca, enter the password, stop the machine! But I don't know it, Mom. So you can fail to do this. And you know what? I think I'm going to let that happen. Oh no, help! So we can see what the scene is. Because it is a different scene. There's Luca crying on the uh, foot of the, her bed. I imagine that she really didn't want to see that again. July 1st, 990. I wish I hadn't heard what the doctor told Dad. Mom's legs, there. July 15th, 990. If only I'd known more about machines, then Mom would still be okay. It's all my fault. Now we know why uh, Luca is so obsessed with machines. So, like I said, we can fail that one. History refused to change. Hi, Robo. What are you doing up? You can give her my legs. They are lightweight and a high, with a highly compact form factor and exceptional balance. You could mount some treads on me instead. Anything would be fine. Please do not be sad, Luca. Thank you. You're such a good friend. A good friend? You called me your friend? But I am only a robot. I have a present for you. It is a piece of amber I created using sap from the trees in this forest. It required 400 years and a great deal of pressure to make. I hope you will find it useful. Obtained a green dream. Robo, you're so sweet. Thank you. But what happens if we uh, put the password in properly? We'll have to find out next time. See you then, everyone. <laughs>